Right, so this little video is about making a radius cutting tool for the lathe. Basically what I want to do is I want to make a piece for this Triumph motorbike and I haven't got a die the right size for the tube I want to bend for a set of bars. With my push benders, they all have these dies with a half circle radius cut in them. I've got this large piece of stock here, weighs about six kilos, seven kilos, maybe more, that I want to spin on the lathe. I want to cut the same groove in that as is in that, but different size. So, rather than go and spend a few hundred quid on a die and maybe another 700 quid on a bender, I'm going to try and make it out of pieces I've got lying around. So, the next few minutes are going to be making the tool that I need to do that. And there's probably going to be another video after that about making the the tube holder that goes in the bender. I've got pieces of a bender there which I'll show you in a minute. Got these few bits of scrap here. It's a bit of solid 18mm. I think it's EN1. Bit of seamless tube which is left over from the uh, an off cut from that triumph frame. Bit of 10mm plate and a couple of bushes out of a I think the triumph T120 gearbox. I want to bend some tube which is a size I don't normally use to make a set of handlebars for the Triumph but I haven't got a former that will fit in any of my machines so I want to try and make one which means I'm going to have to make a radius tool for the lathe which is where this little pile of rubbish comes in. Now I normally use this big old staffer bender here for, uh, for making frames and to a lesser extent for stuff which isn't crit critical the old crusher that everyone's got, them 90 quid things that pretty much don't work unless you heavily modify them, like mine's been. This, this thing will bend you properly and it will do some odd sizes as well with modification to the dies. What I've got down here is the makings of... The, I think it's called Pro Tools. It's a copy, it's a homemade copy of a Pro Tools manual bender. But I haven't got any dies for it, and dies are about three or four hundred quid. I reckon I can make one for about twenty or thirty quid um, with a couple of hours labour. So, first of all, I've got to make a radius tool. So, I'll try and document the footage of making that in the various big steps. Without getting too boring. If it if it if it does, I'll cut a load out. Now I've cut that, that slice came off the end of here and I'm putting it back on the side if you like. Idea being that that is going to fit in there like that tool, that's, the, that's off the quick release tool post and that hang down, all this other stuff underneath that's not to do with it, that's just to pack out this clamp. I've already descaled it and veed off the edge for the weld, checked it straight on the, both the planes that I'm interested in. So I'm just going to zip it up a little bit now.
Uh, so I just cut the rest of this up off without filming it off camera. Nobody needs to see all that. Basically, it was that, that big lump of 10mm scrap. I uh, parted it out into four. The idea being that the, at least one of these, maybe both, is going to be bored out to take these bushes. Um, and they're going to be welded end on end, 90 degrees to this piece. So that that shaft can pass through the middle of it and be able to turn in the bushes. Uh, so I'm going to take one of these now and try it out in the forge I've already marked and centre popped it where, the, where I want the hole. I can easily copy that on the, uh, on the second one so pre-marked that one as well. And I, uh, if I choose to do both I might leave one blind so that the shaft can sit on it and that's, that's the stop. Or I might build an adjustable stop on the shaft so that I can raise and lower the cutting tool in the lathe rather than just relying on the scope of the of the tool post. The piece that I made yesterday is was here somewhere, hang on. That's in the lathe. That was the piece I made yesterday with that with that on there. So that's how it that's how it's held in the in the tool post holder. And then this will be welded onto the front of that. And, uh, I'll set this up in the way that I, I, I might film the turn and I'll see what I'll see where it goes. Okay, so I've just been messing around the lathe for an hour or two there and we've come up with this. Check off a bit of the uh, off cut frame pipe. Machined it out and put a push in that. Machined out one of those off cuts of that sort of slab of scrap. Put a bush in that. Took that 18mm um, piece of uh, frame, I think it was an engine mount. Left over a bit of engine mount and uh, took that down, only, only took that down by uh, 0.2 of a mil, just so that it fits in these bushes. It leaves a little bit of sanding but you know, they, 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 they fit good, they're, they're, that's going to be a good neat fit. That. These, these are going to sit like this. That's the bottom end there. And then the whole lot's going to be welded together like that. So when it's in the tool post, this can rotate. I'll go ahead and uh, weld these together now and I'll show you the finished bit in a minute. And then we've got to drill a cross hole through this to put, a, to put the cutting tool in. And then I'll have, an, I'll have an Allen bolt countersunk into the bottom to pinch the tool in there so that that'll rotate. One, once that's all done, I'll weld the handle on later. I might have to extend this. I'm not, not worried about that. If, if, if I have to put a, even if I have to put some gnarly piece on the top, I don't care. I just need, I just need something so I can rotate it that much. It, it need, it, it'll, need, it'll need about 180 degrees rotation I'll sort that out later but you'll, you'll, you'll see it as it comes together ok so since that last segment I finished up a bunch of bits I drilled and pressed the bush into the top piece and the, the bottom bit which I made earlier is now sort of mostly welded onto the uh, to, to the frame if you like this shaft I machine down to fit into the bushes it's a good tight fit in fact if anything a bit too tight but that give that will give me a bit of resistance to give me more feel when I'm turning the uh, the big lump of metal to make a die for the uh, for the pipe bender um, this is going to be welded onto the back of this 
so it fits in the tool post and that that area there is the amount of adjustments I'll have when it's on the uh, when it's on the tool post on the lathe turning. So I'll I'll go away now and weld weld these two bits together, square it all up, and find find some unimportant job that I can test it on. Okay, so we've welded all that up now. The uh, this is the piece that fits in the tool post which is now going to fit on this bracket and then the shaft obviously goes up through it that's all good, I've checked it out in the lathe uh, I've put a centre pop on this so I can cross, cross drill it to fit a cutting tool into the middle of it and that's going to be held in from underneath by a locking bolt I'll set this up in the pillar drill and get that done now. So, I've bored through the middle of that, or cross drilled it, however you want to explain it. For the, for the tool to go in next, I need to put a bolt in the bottom to clamp it so I need to counterboard it so the head of the bolt will fit inside but I don't want to take all the material off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shave down the head of the bolt to to make the diameter smaller so that I can drill a smaller hole inside and then I'll put the tap in the lathe and wind the tap up there and for the last sort of half inch we'll leave it threaded so I'll set that up in the lathe and get that done and I think that's all the main pieces caught, drilled, machined uh, we've got a counterboard on that with what's going to be an 8mm thread but the keen eyed engineers will spot the mistake with that one we've now got a 10mm thread uh, and a 10mm bolt with the head machined off it which screws up tight see the end of it sticking out See the end of it in the hole there with the, with the tool's going to be so tool goes in, tighten up the bolt, and then it can be, it can be fitted in there. I've still got to drill out the back of the uh the tool post for the uh, for the allen key to go in but that's a small job I'll do that later not, not a drama and there's the back of the tool post adapter drilled out so we can get the allen key in to tighten up the tool post in Tool in. I mean, obviously, this tool isn't ground to any particular shape I need yet. As you can see, there's loads of adjustments in and out. Allen key fits in the bottom, tightens up. Obviously, you get that much better than the vice. Radius cutting tool. I've yet to make a, a, a probably weld a hex nut or something on the top or a basic handle. Probably a hex nut because then I can just use a, a normal wrench, spanner, socket, whatever's 
convenient at the time for the job. I'll do that. The main engineering, if you want to call it, grill the build, is done. It ain't pretty. It's not meant to be. It's just got to work. That's all I care about. I'll do pretty on the motorbikes. This, this has just got to be functional.